Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch and they don't give a fuck. What's going on, America? I'm the right wing angel out of a Mac. And in this video, we're going to talk about this radical feminist lesbian who gets hit in the face with a brick just because she wouldn't give a man her phone number. Now, when I first saw this story, I was feeling really, really bad for this woman. I mean, nobody deserves to be hit in the face with a brick, especially because you don't want to give somebody your phone number. But when I dug a little bit deeper into her ideology and the things that she believes and how much she hates men, all that compassion and sympathy I had was gone. So first I'm gonna show you the video that she posted when she first got hit in the face. Then I'm gonna show you her in the hospital. And then after that, I'm gonna show you who this woman really is. So let's check this out. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. And they don't give a brick is. Yeah, this man this man hit me. He grabbed a rock and it hit me in my fucking face because I would have given him my number. And is? all y'all just watch. Y'all see that shit? Y'all see that What do y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and do something. Okay, hold on to that. What she just said. I want y'all to be a man. Y'all are supposed to do something about a man threatening her with a brick. Okay? Remember that. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Oh, All right. Okay, here's her in the hospital. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you going to do? And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick. And all these is watching. And nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face. And they're all just watching. And they let that nigga get in the car. Now, let me say this again. I do not condone violence, especially towards women of any kind. Hitting a woman in the face with a brick because she did not want to give you her phone number is beta male behavior. It's marshmallow men behavior. And I don't condone it. I don't like it. I think it's horrible what they did to this woman. So this video is not excusing the behavior of that man who did what he did to this woman. Not at all. I just want to say I lost a lot of sympathy for her after I saw the videos that she made. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? Now, you've heard that. And I think it's a horrible thing. I mean, look at her face. That, that, ooh, that is, that's some serious swelling right there. So I, God bless her. I hope she heals fast. I hope she makes a, a speedy recovery. But she's going to have to change her ways. There's some things that she said that are just disgusting. This woman don't even like men, okay? Let me let, me let y'all check this out before I talk too much. I, I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual pro property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones. And the you heard that? They're the protectors. So where were the women to protect you from the man with the brick? You wanted the men to protect you. But you said in this video, and this video was posted long before that brick incident happened, you said men aren't protectors. Why don't you call on the women? Why don't you say, hey, women, you're supposed to protect me. Where were you? She made this statement saying that women are the innate protectors. They're going to protect societies with their breast milk. Are you serious? What kind of protection can somebody, would you go squirting at somebody trying to attack you? Are you crazy? But you, you speak all this stuff and a lot of these feminists that get on TikTok and make these videos claiming that men ain't ish and, and just, just demeaning men, they actually, they're full of crap because these same women, when something happens to them, they're looking for men to protect them. They're not looking for women to protect them. These crazy radical feminists. Ew. Not even the three! Because <laughs> men are not providers and protectors. Not innately, because they only protect what they possess. 
Well, we protect everybody and we provide, baby, okay? So I hope you catch. You protect everybody. Okay. What was your protection? What were the women protecting you when you got hit in the face with a brick? A girl tonight, because I hope I do. Ew. <laughs> and don't forget, before there was feminism, it was lesbians who were living those lives without worried about niggas. Like, they were not worried about niggas. They were decentering men. Wait, 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 wait. Before there was feminism, there was lesbians. What? That don't even make any sense. Before there was feminism, there were lesbians. Hey, excuse me, thank you. Before there was feminism, they were lesbians. Are you freaking serious? Now, I want to show you one more clip of this crazy woman. Not only is this radical feminist lesbian woman a man hater she's also a racist so in the video she called out the black men that didn't step up to protect her because she feels like black men specifically are supposed to protect black women but she doesn't like white men either or white people check out this video this is for the uh, fact that you're a white man and I'm a black woman. I have less privilege than you. Thank you. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> so she slaps the white man in the face because he's white and she's black and she has less privilege than him. Are you serious? If you believe that you have less privilege than someone else based on race or whatever reason it is, that's a personal problem. It has nothing to do with him being white. It has nothing to do with you being black. It has everything to do with how your parents raised you. Well, apparently your parents ain't. Your parents didn't set you up for success, which is most likely the reason why you're experiencing the things you experience and the reason why you have this, this twisted view of the world, twisted view of men, twisted view of society. She probably came from a toxic single mother who taught her to hate men. So she gravitated to women and became a lesbian. But tell me what you guys think. But once again, nobody deserves to be hit in the face with a brick, especially a woman, especially because she didn't give somebody her phone number. That should never, ever happen. So I don't condone that behavior whatsoever. But I just wanted to point out how her ideology, the, the way she thinks, the way she acts is just trash. And sometimes people need a wake up call. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.